Okay, people, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal with the Phantom Thieves once again. They're in the last we save uh, Sumu Ray. So we're just uh, doing our daily life for now with, with Joker and all the Phantom Thieves right now since we got like uh, three weeks away till like Murky returns. So uh, there's like a lot of plans I'm gonna be doing before then. Starting with uh, upping Joker's knowledge. And then I need to hang with uh, Chi a little bit to get a licious status. So, okay, we got 25 days until like a murky, you know, axe. Okay, so we're still doing our daily routine with Joker, doing other things. So, not sure how I'm gonna start out, because you know it's been a while. Oh yeah, no, so we can't go down, so we can just just call it a day. Um, all right. Hmm, but even so. Sing about it tomorrow, kitty. Get some shut eye. I guess we'll see what happens by by the next day. Then tell them you're going to the velvet room. Uh, of course. Wake up, inmate. It's been quite some time. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny seeing Lavenza now because, you know, since, you know, she's not the two girls now who, who would call him inmate. <laughs> what up, Lavenza? We have finally succeeded in reaching you. Uh. What's going on? You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. Yep, indeed. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Yata. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. Proof enough. <laughs> it seems the time has come. Uh, what I do now? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. Okay. <laughs> if the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. In due time, girl. In due time. Yeah, that wasn't much. <laughs> okay, Tuesday. Back to school. <laughs> Lady Lavenza told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Right, right. I, I remember um, they all know where Lavenza now. Uh, what else soon, right? Good morning. <sighs> um, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. And oh, come don't worry on, about it. there's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine, but <laughs> mentally, to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Well, I wish I can. Oh, do something. I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things now. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. Yeah, why not? It's for the best. <laughs> oh, we got three weeks away, girl. Okay. It's a boring day in school. <laughs> But since, you know, Joker's in a clear, you know, he's not a criminal now. Well, you can just smoothly relax with his friends. And I guess since I'm back in class, I bet they're going to give more, like, uh, questions I'm probably going to get wrong. <laughs> yeah, so I guess right after school, we're going to be, uh, up in Joker's knowledge. That's what I'm going to do, because I got to go to the Big Bang Burger that I looked up. Time's up. 
We care about Sting and Horde. Horde sucks. His ass sucks, man. So I think on this gameplay we're gonna be doing one no quest missions that we have did since you know we had to defeat the Holy Grail and stuff. So there's like two quest missions. So I'm gonna be like doing one of them on this gameplay. And the last. So I'm just gonna make my time stretch on this game since it's the third semester. Just gotta make my time stretch before like murky acts for the next three weeks. What's sitch? Aww. <laughs> Don't need to overwork yourself. So, everything should be like a walk in the park with the fanzies right now. Hmm. Let's be at the high end. Yeah, I guess we're catching that part of things. Oh yeah, give everybody the D's about lip pins. Alright. At the school. We have to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. Right. It seems he was right. We can't accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? Yep, for the next three That's weeks. Right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? Touche. I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. Right. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. I do Dr. like Maruki everybody's clothes. Ain't a shitty adult so nice. at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. Maybe. But we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, I'm gonna do it. Touche. Uh, so... Somebody say something? Eh. Uh, sorry, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Not then bad it's at unanimous. All. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Mm. Get back in the palace. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Hmm. <laughs> Touche. Good day. This is oh. Lavenza speaking. Wow. <laughs> Lavenza? <laughs> huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. Yeah, how the heck she can contact him on the phone in the bell room? I don't get that. Hmm. That'd be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? I know. <laughs> and how did she know how high our wills are? <gasps> did she tap your line or something? Eh. Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. 
Coincidence? I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Wow, that is weird. Apparently she can hear you. That is weird. There is something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Uh... Where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore... Let us convene at your school. Oh? At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. Well. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of it. I know how but that's since gonna we've work. determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Right. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Why Dr. not? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Need some Plus, smartness. If he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. <laughs> wow, Haru. Guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. Sounds like a plan. All right. Okay, <laughs> where is seeing Lavenza? I guess we'll see where things go with Lavenza first. On top of it. For real? Eh, <laughs> uh, I, I thought you'd be smart, kitty. <laughs> One dynamic duo. You know the deeds. Yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know if we can do anything. I don't know. Mm. Hey. Okay. Guess still can't we really do anything. Um. Now you're in crafting. Okay, I guess nothing over the sewer. All right. Uh, can do my plan though. Hey, hey. Yeah, my plan needs some fertilizer. Oh. Well, I already maxed out my kindness. Yes. I just want to just do my plan. Wow. Okay. Guess nothing else. <sighs> That's all we can do, kitty. And uh, shut eye for the whole day. Mm. Can't sleep, kitty. Hmm. Come on, what's up, man? I'm trying to sleep. I see not nothing. No.
<laughs> oh yeah. Some mentos hey. is gone. <laughs> human to impress her. Super cool you are. Listen up. Okay. Oh yeah. Be more than independent girl, boy. <laughs> Stand tall and proud. Protect me like always. The heck, he's evolving again? All right. Oh, Diego, that's a good name. Go, Diego, go. That's nice. Persona okay. Evolution. Pretty cool. Man, these are ranking up. <laughs> hmm. Let's do our best. Right. How powerful that persona is. Let's turn in for the night. Call it night, kitty. <laughs> My son getting a DLC persona. Hmm, okay. Miracle Rush. Hmm, to all foes. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. Medium wind. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't need a. Uh, let's see. Fully stores HP and cures. Okay, I guess I can get rid of this one now. I don't need that. Because I got that uh, one that, that heals and gives uh, stat cures. Sass ailment cures, that's pretty handy. Alright, let's see with Lavenza today. Ahem. I still kind of like this music. Let's make you feel relaxed. Mm, 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 mm. 
Plus, guys, I highly recommend checking him out checking out my Smash trailer where I did this this type of music from Persona 5. You can pretty much relax you. Oh, it's here on the table right here. I met it. I was gonna give it to her, but it was actually been in the bag. Like I, we, I, we, cause we couldn't find it. Like I, I couldn't. I had a hard time finding it, but it was in my side pocket the whole time, and yeah, I never knew it. Hey, wait. Well, I mean, she, she just wanted to take it on a plane, like, cause you know we'd be like in the long hour, you know. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, great. Uh, help out on with a question. It's some phrase about the gods, but it's kind of. Was a phrase supposed to illustrate the god of Shinto? The heck? Uh. Hmm. How powerful they are? Hmm. Hmm, kind of abstract. Uh, hmm. How numerous they are? Hmm. 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 The one about how many guys are in Shinto. Uh, oh boy. Hmm, Shinto. Hey, babe. Hmm. The one about how many guys are in Shinto. Hmm. Is it three gods? Hmm. Yeah, this is a complicated question. And die would be like less amount of gods or something. Uh, I guess eight million. <laughs> okay. Mm, that means. Well, I guess it was just a simple, easy question. This is it. Correct. Correct, the mundo. <laughs> Yeah, he said I didn't mess that up for all. <laughs> yeah, that was simply easy. Way to go, Panther. I guess for after seeing Lavender today, I guess that's where I'm gonna finally up Joker's knowledge. And I guess I'll see what to do nice until going. then. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Good job, Lady On. Eh, yeah, I'm already maxed out anyway. <laughs> I see up my knowledge, man. Class dismissed. Lunch time. You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... <laughs> jelly-filled hmm? bread, really? That's... Eh, let's follow the pretty butterfly. Yeah, let's go. It's a beauty. Oh, don't tell me I had to like do this again where I had to follow the butterfly like before. Wow. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Hmm? 
Um. Well, I guess this is intentional. Hmm. The heroes. Eh, okay. Oh, it just went downstairs. Oh. Yeah, let's go down, kitty. <sighs> hmm. The butterfly's trying to take us to heaven. <laughs> Murky's a uh, room? The heck? For real? Yeah, that's actually Murky's office, right? That butterfly. Anyway. Some kind of purpose. Word to the nurse's room. Um. Eh. This is interesting. Lady oh, wow. Hello. Thank you for coming. Wow, that is pretty cool. Uh. What's with the formality? That's odd. I thought humans regularly exchange phrases such as that upon meeting. Perhaps it would have been more appropriate to say, What's up? <laughs> oh, well, um... <clears throat> anyway, how about we get this started? <laughs> as I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. You say? Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. Okay. I... see. Let's just go with it. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much needed rest. Okay. <laughs> rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? <laughs> Dang, she just snooze so fast. What the heck? <sighs> I guess we should get everyone in here. Wow. She's kind of interesting. <laughs> It just took a couple seconds for her to snooze. Infiltration success. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we are lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. Uh, of course, I must say though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Touche. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. Eh. <laughs> all right then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before. We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. <laughs> It appears that everyone's arrived. <laughs> Does this mean you're ready to begin? Well, if you're done snoozing. Uh, ain't that our line? <laughs> eh. Care to fill us in? <laughs> yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. 
I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. Hmm. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Well, the possibilities. How it came back. Wait. Don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to Mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh. Could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That Indeed. man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? Oh. That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining mm. when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization. Although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So, his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan... It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. Touche. And what if he became such a god? <laughs> what? The god of control. Indeed. The being in Mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Well, that makes took sense. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Wow. Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki, who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? Well, for <laughs> reasons, I guess. <laughs> mm. He's pulling strings now, since the Holy Grail is gone. Wait, you what? What, what? what do you mean? What do you mean? We, we never wish for anything for like, like this. Hey, babe. Is that really true? True, true, true? It's most likely because... Okay, give me a second guys, I'm just, uh, just checking my, uh, my audio. I think my audio went off. I think my audio just gone off, guys. <laughs> just having a little issues. Hmm. Just not hearing it. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm good. Oh, you guys can hear me good still. Uh. Okay. We whisper it. What? 
After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? <sighs> what about our counseling? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the counseling. That y'all did for him. Uh. So Cyrus was getting too murky. <laughs> Again, guys, I hope you guys can hear me good. Had a Looks like you my, all uh, walked headphones. right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Eh. He has to be stopped. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Touche. Yes. This realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So... What you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. Wow. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. Uh. No. Uh. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. Wow. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. Wow. And Stakes are high. I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Yep. We have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. Yep. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Okay, so on a second. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Do that. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. Mm. You mean in meta now? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Hmm. Maybe he 
you us to save us? Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? Well... <laughs> You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude. The fan thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine, then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Yeah, okay. And that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? Oh. We may not have summoned her as one of the phantom thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. Touche. Oh boy, she was eavesdropping the whole time. <laughs> Assume you're right. She was at ease dropping. I just. You'll come around soon, girl. You'll come around soon. Guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a. Welcome. Hey. Um... Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. No prop. Mm, it's delicious. Yeah, mm. nice and decaffeinated. <laughs> Would you mind... If I got something off my chest. Like? Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. Uh, of course. About Murky. You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. Eh. Still, like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this, but now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I decide that. <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai, but you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Yeah, okay. Reform society. All right. We're writing reality. The palace ruled by a persona user. <laughs> I can manage Murphy's persona. <laughs>
Dan Mia tomorrow. Well, so far the evening. Uh, I guess sorry, night time, yeah. Is going by fast. <laughs> this Rory in 2024. Uh, all right. For real? Yep, he's the new ruler of Momentos. Uh. Hey. All right. So he still can't do anything. Well. Okay. Uh, well, and no sumer is gonna go around, so I guess get another shut eye. Hey, hey. Snooze away. Till next day. And you still got a month. Okay, for one thing, I want to know, like, could I still do stuff before going to the palace? I need to know. Let me see. Yeah, I know I got time to take take on Murky. I'm just curious. We should be careful. Okay, I know it's a similar meeting, but I guess we'll see you if we are going to uh, the palace in advance. Just want to see what happens next. Alright, so we're going to LeBlanc. Hmm. I guess this is probably like a quick thing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, there's an option if I get, but I don't have to do it in advance. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. Of course you did. Let your guard down, band thieves. Very well. Let us go. Okay, so we're actually going in in advance. Oh, it's. Hello, everyone. Why are you here? You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Please, take me with you. Uh, but you can't go in dressed like that. <laughs> Please, I'm done running away. Why not? I can't keep relying on people like Senpai. I want to live life as Sumire. Okay. <laughs> Color me impressed. Just change Looks like, like she'll that. do just fine here. Let's team up. Thank you. In that case, we gotta come up with a code name for you. A what now? <laughs> it wouldn't be right if you were the only one going by your real name, you know? Right. Oh, you're right. Joker, got any suggestions? 
violet. Oh, that's right. Sumire in English is violet. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Quite violet. legit. Yes, let's go with that. Excellent. Now remember, everyone, violet, not violent. <laughs> violet. Yes, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> yeah, violent. <laughs> I am surrounded by absolute fools. <laughs> Are we done? We should probably get moving. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, Violet. Let's roll. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was... <laughs> um... Yeah, most parts of the palace. <laughs> yes. Okay. Best place to investigate. Okay. Okay, so Sumire is, has joined the fight, aka Violet. Alright. Uh, just checking the stats. Okay, this is a full on party. I got both Akechi and Sumire. Nice. Um, okay, so I have her in. Okay. Yes, you got a Kondrillion. Kondrillion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, she's all crystallized. That's cute. Look at her. Okay. Okay. Okay, chance of critical. Alright. Sora's dance. Okay. Ooh, brace step. Okay, all critical. Okay, she's weak against dark still. Okay. Alright. It's getting interesting. Um, I'll just add this. Yeah, I'll just add this. Uh, okay. I guess I did my time mementos. Uh, but, you know, I'm just gonna skip that for reasons. I don't know. Okay, so. I guess that'll be a stopping point here since uh, we're being in Murky's palace in advance, so thank you for watching. Personify Royal once again. I know it's probably gonna be a long way in the palace, so I'm not gonna be ready yet. I guess probably like uh for another few days. Probably like maybe next weekend. So I kinda thought we would like do a day of life before taking on Murky, but I guess, uh, wait until, like, uh, I guess a few days until I get prepared and ready for Murky's Palace, so I know it's going to be a long way, so... Okay, so thank you for watching Persona by Roya, y'all. Since Sumire has joined the fight, she's now become Violet. And along with that, I gotta catch you with me, so it's a full-on fight with two additional characters in the party, so... Thank you for watching anyway, hope you hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for the next where we take on Murky for uh, another couple of days, so stay tuned.